my quirk is that I eat weird things sometimes. Like yesterday, I just roasted up a little plate of uh, um, a beet and Brussels sprouts <laughs> for a little 10 p.m. snack. That's a fun meal for a 21-year-old. Yeah, crazy Friday night. <laughs> Rise and shine, ladies and gents. It's 6.20 in the morning and we are already getting after it. I'm eating a huge bowl of oatmeal before I go running, as per usual. Obviously have my coffee, which is the only thing keeping me awake right now, and a huge jug of water. You may be saying to yourself, Emma, whoa, that is a ton of food to eat before you go running. Well guys, haters back off, okay? Because I've been eating this for years and this is what helps me run. Just kidding, I just love oatmeal and it's definitely my biggest meal of the day. Which is kind of unusual because I feel like people don't really like to eat before they run. Okay, this is me just like talking to myself. Guys, we're already on to another episode of Peachtree Prep, number 10. Today, I'm excited to bring you along with me to In Training for Peachtree, which is a group training session that Atlanta Track Club puts on for the Training for Peachtree. They have them all around the city of Atlanta just to get people ready and motivated to get after it on July 4th at the AJC Peachtree Road Race. I've never been to one before, so we're just gonna go chill, see what's up, see what the hype is all about. It starts at 7.30, it's 6.20 right now, so I need to scarf down this bowl of oatmeal, leave here at like 7.15, and we'll go get after it. I did a tempo training session yesterday, so my legs hurt. We're gonna push through, you know? We're gonna get through it, everyone can do it. All right, see you soon. On our way, it's 7.15, and we're gonna get after it. I'm wearing a shirt that's kind of sweaty because I left it in my bag with my sweaty clothes from yesterday. And now it's kind of wet and that's disgusting even though the shirt is clean. What do I even talk about on this channel? Okay. We've got a six miler on the agenda for the day. I don't really know what's about to go down at this thing, but pretty sure I can run six miles, but we'll see. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Safety. Second one is to have fun. Make sure you're enjoying yourself. Some of the things we're talking about, but you could be. So, let other people know. A frozen treat. A frozen treat. Yeah, frozen treat. That's nice. Bob set up this whole phone roll station. So, if you have any. Oh, my favorite. Circle up, circle up. Let's go, let's go. Oh, come on. Get in a picture. One, two, three. Ben, how many miles are you running today? I'm running nine, or however many everyone else is running. I'm, I'm kind of a follower. <laughs> what is your favorite part about in training? Oh, I mean, people. It's great to run with a group, yeah. especially if you don't get to do it often. That's true. All right, we're off. And I guess I'm running six miles with this huge camera and tripod that I just decided. You're running nine. No, I'm not running nine. Yes, hear that? That's the sweet sound of the Garmin turning on for a, a nice nine mile run but not for me, for Ben, who's the run leader who will lead me through this. Uh, now that I have my camera on me, everyone can look like a fool like, running with someone with a camera, not just me this time. See, I'm not very like technologically savvy by any means. My videos are usually like this. <laughs> All right, we're about 20 minutes in, about two and a quarter miles. We're stopping for a little pit stop here for some Powerade, chug, water. Chug, chug. It gets very hot and sweaty out here, so you know, for all the runners, they have cool little water stops like this, which is very handy because it is humid and we sweat out here, guys. <laughs> Woo! Keep it up! All right, we are approaching the end of the run right now. Almost hitting nine miles. Woo! We're done! Eat my dust. <laughs> Bye, run leader. Oh, look at the sprint to the finish! Woo! Good job. Way to finish strong. Good job. Uh, Alright Ben, a little recap of in training for Peachtree Run in Kennesaw. Oh, we had a blast. It was way too hot. <laughs> but we got a bunch of water stations everywhere, so it's, it's fine. Yeah, we ran, what was it, nine miles-ish? Almost? Yeah, just about. Like, I got 8.69. Oh, I think I got like 8.8, .8, so... Oh, um, so I guess I just did it better than you. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> the atmosphere.
atmosphere was really good around here. You know, everyone's really encouraging because you go on an out and back loop, so you just get to see people come by you and cheer each other on. Everyone's so positive. People are out there pushing themselves early in the morning, so. Yeah, and you get a good idea of what, like, peach tree's gonna be. So that, come that's to very the Kennesaw true. location. Yeah. Uh, no Kennesaw, big peach. Right on Barrett. Hot. It's, hills. It's hot. It's hot. Hilly humidity, but that's what Peachtree is going to be all about. So we're getting after it. We're getting some training in along with all those other hardworking people, ready to get after it on July 4th for the AJC Peachtree Road mm. Race. Yeah, got so many, so much power aid. It's amazing. So you've run Peachtree before? Yeah, I've done it like four times, I think. Okay, what's your favorite part about the race? What are, what is your favorite part and your biggest warning about the race? Okay, so. Two things. I want to say right at mile three or the 5K mark, somewhere around there, you're going to see a gas station, and that's when Cardiac Hill starts. Cardiac Hill ends once you see the Chick fil A. All right, what is Cardiac Hill for those that don't know? Cardiac Hill is mile and a quarter um, hill, somewhere around there, mile. And wow. I, I, I think it you gain like, it's like a 21 story hill, something oh. like that. It's insane. Casual. It's Oh, it's terrible. But they've got like, because it's so hot, they have like these fire hydrants. And, like, <laughs> they, they like loosen them up so there's like water covering up like half of the, the road. So what's your favorite thing about Peachtree? Um, probably the amount of people that participate. How many are there? There's like 60,000. 60,000 people? That's so many people. I can't even fathom that many people running alongside me, but I'm excited. There's even more people on the sidelines watching. It's awesome. That's and crazy. The entire city of Atlanta rallies around it. Pretty much. And why aren't you running it this year? Who He, he just said to okay. me today, I'm not running Peachtree this year. Okay, so I've got like a race a day after. So I'm kind of bummed about it because like Peachtree's so much fun. It's like a, an amazing party. So I'm kind of bummed about that. <laughs> an amazing party, guys. Oh, you heard it here for it's an it's amazing like the party. the biggest bash in Atlanta. You guys have to come. Post run goodies. We've got some snacks available. <laughs> Some delicious Powerade. Also, some little Italian ices. All right, Ben, describe what's going on here. Doing as hill you're, repeats. You're doing hill repeats? Let's see you do one. Oh, I probably, oh, gross. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> okay. Do it for the vlog. Do it for the vine. No idea who that is, but okay. Look at him go. So this is what people do after the run is completed. I can't believe he's actually doing this right now. These people just ran like nine miles and they're off doing hill repeats, including Ben, who just decided to do one for fun, because for the vlog. <laughs> so how many hill repeats do people usually do? So today is four, four, but because of the heat, we're just saying do what you can. Okay, so you guys heard that, two to four. This is a training run. Mm-hmm. We don't want you to die before. <laughs> yes. That definitely makes sense. No dying. Where's that recovery jog? Why are you walking down? I mean, I might have gone a little too far. I feel great. That's good. Are you ready for your second one? I'm just kidding. You don't have to do another one. Look at your face. I just went an extra mile. More than I was supposed an to. Extra okay. mile. An extra say mile. A, I wouldn't say a mile. Well, 0.96, okay? Depending on who you ask. You got it! Bye. See ya. Bye. We're back home now. I'm all sweaty, and this is gonna wrap up another Peachtree prep video. Nine miles in the books for the morning. I was only planning to do six, and I did nine. They were very easy, though. Definitely a good recovery run after my tempo run yesterday. Shout out to Atlanta Track Club for putting on that in training for Peachtree workout because that was really fun. Meeting new people, enjoying the Atlanta running community vibes. It's just exciting to see everyone super ready and fit for the AJC Peachtree Road Race. It's honestly just super cool to see all the things Atlanta Track Club has done just to help put on the AJC Peachtree Road Race. And I know that race day is gonna be even better. So shout out to the Atlanta Track Club for partnering with me through this entire series. All right, I'm off to obviously shower. My hair is yet again a mess as exactly in the last video. But that's just me, you guys know me. So I'm off to go enjoy a cup of coffee at this place called Cool Beans Coffee Company, I think. Um, and if you know anything about me, if you're like my OG friend, Cool Beans is a, the phrase Cool Beans is a huge part of my life. So I'm excited to go there, you know, probably edit this video. Another Peachtree prep in the books. See you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Catch you guys later. Peace out. Let's say we up and left this town and turned our future upside down. We'll make pretend that you and me lived ever after happily. Hey, look, my
make this, I'm going to race tomorrow. Where's my sister? Ellie. 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 I love Ellie so much. Let's go see what she's doing. OMG. A really nice bird. When I go up to people's dogs and I'm like, oh, what's his name? It's a girl. How would I know? Oh, hey, boys. I'm Emma, next cheerleader. Maverick, sit in the front. Let's go, Mavs! Would you believe me if I said I'm in love? Would you believe me if I said... Hey, Ellie, would you? What? Would you believe me if I said I'm in love?